Hello, and welcome to Ask an Archaeologist. I'm Paul Duncan McGarrity. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Ask an Archaeologist podcast with me, Paul Duncan McGarrity. Now, we've got a very short episode this week. Uh, the reason being, I had some technical difficulties. There was a very poor uh, Skype connection. We just kept losing the uh, the feed, basically, uh, the connection between me and Rachel Hall. So um, in, we just couldn't make it work, unfortunately. So instead, this is a very short one, but it covers what we wanted to talk about. Uh, which was the fact that on the 17th of July, this Wednesday, uh, and the reason why I am still putting this podcast out, uh, it's going to be Ask an Archaeologist Day, which is something that Rachel and the guys at uh, the National Trust in the Midlands have put together. They ran it last year, and they're running it again this year. It's a really uh, fun day on Twitter where uh, lots of archaeologists from all over the world get involved and answer the questions that are put forward by members of the public. Um, It sounds like something that I think everyone who listens to this podcast is probably quite used to that idea and that format, and I would um, encourage you to get involved. Um, Seek it out. We give you the hashtag and the the Twitter handle that you can use, but just in case, uh, I might as well tell you them now. It's hashtag askanarch. Or you can follow the Twitter at Ask an Arc Day. Um, so I will get Rachel back and we'll do a full proper interview uh, where you can hear everything. And we have, you know, maybe even sit in the same room so we don't have to rely on the internet for these things. But until then, here's a very short uh, introduction to uh, some of the things and the thinking behind Ask an Archaeologist Day. Uh, and a little bit about herself Um, so enjoy Uh, catch you next time and until then bye bye hello rachel (laughs) Hi, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Um, I want to talk to you very quickly, if we can, or, uh, about what you're doing for Ask an Archaeologist Day, uh, and, and when that is, and, and what it is people are doing. Sure. So this is Ask an Archaeologist Days on Wednesday, seventeenth of June. So this Wednesday coming up, and we're asking people to ask questions to archaeologists over Twitter using the hashtag Ask an Archaeologist. So the idea is is that absolutely anyone can ask an archaeologist any question they would like at all. So it could be anything yeah. from what's your favourite book to why did you become an archaeologist to, I guess, really, really very specific questions if you have anything. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> That's brilliant. Um, I've just got to ask a question, though. What is it that made you want to do it in the first place? Well, it was a conversation in the um, office that I work in last year between um, myself and um, a chap called Tom, who's our um, social media consultant. And Tom had been working with our curators on Ask a Curator Day. So we were both for fantastic idea put together by Mar Dixon. And we wondered if we could do something similar. And we just thought yeah. it'd be great fun. So it was mostly, it was, we, we thought of it as a fun idea. <laughs> people talking about archaeology over Twitter. And so we set it up. We, we were very low-key about it. We didn't know how it might work. And anyway, it was brilliant. Loads of great questions came on the day. So this is our second year of it. And hoping that more people might get involved again this year. Yeah. Uh, what kind of questions were coming through? Was there any sort of themes that you saw as a, a very regular thing that people wanted to know about? 
So people are really keen to know about why people became archaeologists and also how they could get involved in archaeology themselves. So you had a lot of questions from parents or um, students thinking about studying archaeology and how they could get involved, how they could find digs, how they yeah. volunteer and things like that. But perhaps my favourite question was, what's your favourite sandwich? So it was a <laughs> diverse range of questions. Yeah. Well, then we might as well take a... a, a, a a sort of a, a lead from those questions and I'll quickly ask you what is it that made you want to be an archaeologist? So for me there's a couple of things I remember watching um, the, something about the Mary Rose on Blue Peter and I saw this amazing archaeologist at the time who she called Dr Margaret Rule and I thought she was really cool and I just thought the Mary Rose was the best thing ever and yeah. I really really wanted to do that so I knew from a really young age that I wanted to get into archaeology, and then the other thing was I used to um, I used to go out sort of digging about, <laughs> finding fossils, and I just loved that sense of discovery. So it was just I think the whole thing of being able to go find new stuff and then find out all about it and learn new things. So that's really that's why I'm here today. <laughs> That's brilliant. That is really cool. And you've been working in archaeology for about 19 years, as you say. Um, how can people, is there anything that the, the National Trust do that people could use as a route into archaeology? Sure. So we have um, a lot of volunteering programmes, National Trust for Archaeology. We've got, um, so we set up in the Midlands a programme called HEART, which is Heritage Archaeology Ranger Team, where we have teams going out and um, monitoring our archaeological sites for us. We've got over 16,000 sites in the Midlands, so we couldn't possibly look after and know the condition of all those sites. So that's a really great way to get involved. Um, a lot of National Trust archaeologists will take on interns and placements. So We've got a, a great chap working with us at the moment called Seb from um, University of Sheffield. He's uh, busy doing working on a couple of summer projects. And then we also have digs and things going on, so that people can come and sign up to those. And again, something we do here in the Midlands, we've got um, an archaeology club for families over at Cork. So we get some very young archaeologists, so <laughs> they're sort of the age of seven years old, and oh, we're blimey. digging in the summer. So there's all kinds of um, things we offer at NT for people to have a go at and get involved in archaeology. That's fantastic stuff. Um, what would you hope for this year's uh, Ask an Archaeologist Day? Um, like, were there any uh, limitations on what you what happened last time that you'd like to see, sort of like an improvement on in this year? Sure. So last year we had quite a lot of archaeologists asking other archaeologists questions, which is great. It's great fun to find out about more about people. <laughs> it's really nice if we got some um, people who aren't archaeologists. So we did have quite a few questions from non-archaeologists last year, but if they wanted to pull in some questions, that'd be really good. Okay, fair enough. So we we, we need we need to stop talking to ourselves, basically. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what is your favourite sandwich? Oh, my favourite sandwich. So I love peanut butter, marmite, and cheese all in one sandwich. Delicious. Oh, that is deviant. <laughs> I know it's the best. <laughs> well, it sounds that sounds like a sandwich that has developed over a digging season where you needed fast energy, fast. It has, yeah. It has, I've perfected it now. <laughs> what is the uh, the handle that people can follow on Twitter? And what's the hashtag that you're using so they can ask questions? So um, our hashtag for Ask an Archaeologist Day is hashtag Ask an Archaeologist. And you can ask direct your um, questions to you at Ask an Arc Day or yep. also at Archaeology UK. Right. Now, I want to make sure that everyone heard that properly at Ask an Arc Day, because I keep getting lots of tweets directed <laughs> to me that I have to keep passing on. <laughs> I know, yes. It's, it's very, very similar. Yeah, so it's on the 17th, uh, yes. Ask an Arc Day, hashtag Ask an Arc. Uh, tell other people about it, get people to send their questions in, and you will have a, a, a an entire country of archaeologists answering your questions. Um, Rachel, thank you very much for being with me. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> You've been listening to the Ask an Archaeologist podcast with 
and me, Paul Duncan McGarrity. The music you were listening to was by From the Ashes. Check them out on Bandcamp. It was produced by me, Paul Duncan McGarrity. You can follow me on Twitter at Askanark, or you can send an email at askanark at gmail.com. But most importantly, if you've enjoyed yourself, if you think you have a friend who might be interested in the podcast, please tell them about it. Write a review, put up a star rating, let people know that we're here. It's incredibly helpful and much appreciated. Once again, thank you to everyone who has asked an arc. Bye-bye.